now taking this moment in for a little bit. Oh, I just never, never thought I'd be on stage with like this. Thank you, sir. Actually, thank you, Nagi, for not having me in the film, but having me do all this. Sir, I'm going to start with you, sir. When Nagi first came and was talking about the idea, this was much before any of this materialized. He was, it's Kalki, you, we all know about the coming of an avatar, we've heard it through childhood as stories, and a filmmaker actually trying to make that in the science fiction world, and had imagined you on day one as the Ashwatthama. So what was your reaction to that? When Nagi came and explained to me the idea, uh, for a long time after he'd left, I was thinking, what the hell has Nagi been drinking? <laughs> to think of something like this, it was absolutely something outrageous. And with some of the visuals that you've seen just now, it's just unbelievable to, uh, to have somebody conceive a project uh, which is so futuristic and so possible. And during the making of the film, we realized that uh, no matter what he thought of, he actually got all the material, all the effects, every kind of visual or vision that he had. And, and that really has been an amazing experience. For me to be just a part of it uh, has been an experience I'll never forget. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. Sir, over to you. I mean, your veterans are a really small word. And encyclopedia also felt like a silly word once I said it. In your plethora of cinema, you've watched so many filmmakers grow, create different roles with you. This was science fiction, and it had mythology in its play, and it had a filmmaker who was really young. And if all of you know the looks of Nagi, he doesn't look anything like a filmmaker. Uh, I'll tell you a truth today, he's actually a lost kid from Shambhala who grew up in Hyderabad. So, how did he actually narrate this to you, sir, and what was your reaction with it? I'm used to these kind of uh, ordinary looking people who do extraordinary things. My boss, my mentor was one such man. He, he looked like a government official. I thought, he would, first thing, if he enters any house, you'll think it's an income tax rate. That's how it looked. But uh, I've seen what he was capable of from the kind of films he did. I think Ek Dujay Ke Liye was his 60th or 70th film. So I'm quite, I was not surprised. I'm, I don't underestimate these ordinary looking guys. They have a depth to them that doesn't show unless you talk to them. And I did have the opportunity of talking to him, man a few words, and uh, that's about uh, the, the succinct way of putting forward your idea, if it extends to movies, great ideas will translate better. It's, it when, it's when they don't know how to present it that great ideas become ordinary movies. But this guy knew how to present an idea, which, as uh, Amaji said, you, first thing you want to ask is what you've been smoking or what you've been drinking. But that, that's how great ideas are formed. I mean, ordinary people will doubt it and then they'll start respecting it. I could see a bit of that. And uh, my only, I was moaning backstage to uh, <laughs> Amiji about, I always wanted to play bad man because the bad man gets to do all the good things in films, where the heroes are singing romantic songs and waiting for the heroine, where he can just go ahead and do what he wants. But I thought, I'm going to play the bad man, so it's going to be fun. But then, like, uh, he wanted to be different. And I'm almost like a sage in the film with, with a bad idea. <laughs> Sir, and the look, you had, there was one shot of you in the promo, and then that just stunned pretty much the whole country. And you have so many different looks that you consistently keep creating. I remember Nagi before he took the flight for the look test. He was saying, dude, I'm feeling really silly. What am I going to talk to Mr. Kamalasan about look and get up? I'm just going to ask him to do it. Let, can we know how that happened? That's what he told you, but yeah. we kept talking about it. Because yes. we had a lot to talk about and also not look 
like something else, which I've done already, or somebody else has done already. Now, I, I thought I have a fantastic idea. I had not seen any of the images of this film. So I thought I would dress myself up in such a way people will turn around and look at me. And I got an idea. I would do some research and come, oh, that Amaji is doing that. <laughs> what you came up with, <laughs> he's already doing it. Then I'll go cursing myself and I'll think about it. And then I'll say, I'll come with an armor. Oh, that Prabhasa has got. So I, 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 I didn't want to be pregnant in the film. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have... <laughs> <laughs> I would have tried that as well. But uh, then finally, I with... The... At that too. <laughs> <laughs> but with a good director, even that is possible. Yes. But this get-up took a long time. We traveled to L.A., failed a couple of times before we arrived on the first uh, acceptable look for the director. So I think uh, it's, it's a collaboration, and, and I think and hope, still uh, hoping that the audience will react the same way as we did when we saw the first look. Awesome, sir. Thank you. Okay. Vivian, over to you. I don't know. You, okay. It's, you are...